good morning and welcome to this brief presentation about the course partial differential equations 2 it's the first course on partial differential equations and it is the second part so welcome to the second part of this uh, first course on partial differential equation this course is also jointly given by professor dati and me that is a former faculty from Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, TFR Cam Bangalore. And I am presently, I'm Nanda Kumar, presently working as a professor in the Department of Mathematics in the Institute of Science. As mentioned earlier in our previous course, we thought it is uh, it would be better to give two half semester courses instead of one semester course at a stretch. The first course was completed in 2021 hours as you know in PDE those who are taking this course I'm sure they would have seen our first course and this follow-up second part will also be covered in nearly 20 hours. So put together you will get a one full semester course. Indeed the present course consists uh, of material which is more than that of most of the UG or PG courses uh, you see in our universities. So frankly speaking, the two courses put together is slightly, uh, what do you say, uh, more than a one full semester course. And this is specifically done because it gives an opportunity to the more talented students to learn some advanced material, not too much, a little more than what a one full semester course actually demands, who especially who would like to pursue research in PD. So it's a motivation for them. So it is important to study the material in the first part before attempting to study this present course. In the previous course, basic course on classical PDE, so whole, both courses are essentially classical PDE, we have tried in the previous part itself to show the students uh, the geometry and analysis behind the study of PDEs, going beyond the mere introduction of problem solving techniques. We had also indicated throughout the course, not in one chapter or anything, right from the beginning, the importance of looking PDE beyond the realm of classical solution, for example, smooth solutions of differentiability of that order, and look for solutions in a weak sense because it would have more applications because many of the physical problems will not give uh, allow to look for smooth solution. Many of the physical quantities may not be smooth enough to satisfy the PDE. And that's why you have to look for solutions in a weak sense if you really want to capture the physically relevant solution, you have to get out of the realm of weak solution. So, though we may still restrict, because it's a first course on PDE, we may still restrict it to the main analysis uh, of classical sense. In the present course, you will see little more specifics about the weak solutions. In this direction, we begin with such an aim. We begin the course by introducing the import, two important classes of first order PDEs, namely Hamilton Jacobi equation known as HJE and the conservation law. Both of them have their own independent territory and anyone can work uh, on these uh, two topics uh, independently. And it's an advanced research is going on both these areas. HJE is basically uh, a classical topic actually that arise in the calculus of variations which is a pretty old subject but it's more general version namely Hamilton Jacobi Bellman HJB equation and Hamilton Jacobi Isaac equation HJI equation uh, comes in the study of optimal control problems uh, and uh, 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 what do you say, uh, differential games, uh, topics of current uh, uh, 
research okay indeed it's not possible to touch upon these topics uh, definitely our intention is to derive few things in the hamilton jacobi hoflax formula and euler lagrange equations in hamilton jacobi equations uh, and uh, lax solinic formula uh, in the case of conservation laws we will indicate the concept of some weak solutions uh, in this special situation how these uh, equations actually really you have to look for the thing after the uh, first order equations in the first part our main idea if you recall our first order uh, co first course our main idea was to study the three basic equations namely poisson weight and heat okay as we had done very little in the first course again we continue this topic with the more important uh, materials for example in the case of poisson or laplace equation we mainly introduce what is called the perron's method which is to study the existence of laplace equation with the non homogeneous boundary thing so it's a homogeneous equation of poisson equation namely laplace equation and but so you have your boundary regularity and all these issues will be discussing there and uh, then introduce what is called a potential theory mainly we introduce what is called a newtonian potential okay to study the poisson equation and we in, in, uh, made basically introduce one of the important concept uh, called helder continuity and potential theory is basically the starting point for the study of general second order elliptic equation uh, namely the schroder theory so these topics are important in its own way it's also important to study if you want to study other later the advanced second order elliptic equations so we also study laplacian in uh, what you call a spherical and cylindrical kind of in the heat equation we derive for fourier poisson integral formula for the solution we discuss uniqueness we also discuss heat ball and the max uh, maximum uh, mean value property maximum and minimum principle this you have seen more in elliptic equations in the part 1 course so you will see more in this case heat equation is spherically and cylindrical symmetric domain if you recall in the first part we have mainly concentrated one dimensional heat and wave equations but in this we are studying the higher dimensional case so in the we also study the wave equation in more than one dimension fundamental solution for the wave operator we will be introducing which was not done in last time and there's a major difference in the study of wave equation in odd dimension where odd is greater than 1 and even dimension so what the procedure is that we introduce what is called the spherical means and derive solutions in three dimensions and then using what is called the method of hadamard hadamard's method of design a solution in two dimensions can be obtained the more or less the same procedure it's more difficult but it's the same procedure in higher dimensions as well you first obtain solutions in all dimension higher and then method of design you get the lower dimension of thing so there is a concept called hygiene's principle is differs in two dimensions and three dimension namely in higher or dimensions and even dimensions so strong and weak hygiene's principle is explained and uh, Uh, brief discussions of solutions uh, in uh, more than what you say uh, what or i said will be explained and finally as a precursor to the study of a second order a second and advanced course so this is a first course i told you a second and advanced course on pde the concept of weak derivatives the theory of distribution very glimpses of distribution and that's the modern way of looking at the pde the theory of distributions it gives you a stable foundation for the weak formulations and many of the concepts developed earlier this is a uh, one of the important theory and most of the pdes not everything but looked into that way so we will just give some glimpses of such things uh, especially in the context of laplace operator and briefly present the, this is done in the final set of few lectures as i said the problem solving is also important as it aids better understanding of the subject so we uh, 
uh, as said, we already made this announcement in the previous course so try to do problems and see examples in this context of this thing okay though this is a first course on pde in order to digest the course properly a student need to work uh, continuously and solve the assignments and perhaps read more material from the reference books a good knowledge of analysis is required definitely to understand this code and thank you and all the best